I do a few shows here a year. I did a couple last year, with Travis actually being part of the first opening I had. And uh, we've been friends for a while, and Travis started to work with Stereo Skateboards and uh, as their writer, uh, Minister of Information, and brought this show on a table and uh, talked to Chris Postras and myself and uh, discussed an initial show originally with Chris and Jason. And uh, as it progressed, they realized, well, it's their 15th year anniversary as well. Let's put together something a little different. And we have 15 artists for the 15 year anniversary. And that wasn't planned. <laughs> it just worked out that way. And it wasn't a, 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 a straight, specific, you know, pick um, artists throughout the, uh, the years, but key people I think that they've worked with and uh, have uh, prospered as well on their own. So what we wanted to show is actually designating specific pieces, archival, as well as pieces that Deluxe had supported, and then each artist getting a section showing original artwork that they use as well as either a board that correlates, a photo, or an ad. And uh, it continued on where it's a good breadth of work from the start of stereo to now. Looking back, it almost makes me want to shed tears. And having this in front of my face like this is just amazing. I'm Jason Lee and this is Chris Pastris and uh, we're here in San Francisco celebrating 15 years of stereo. Uh, it was started in LA but lived in San Francisco for uh, about five, 10 years. I don't know. Yeah? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a skateboard you know, in company the, yeah, yeah. and um, based on uh, a lot of ideas that were in our heads in the early uh, 90s. So we kind of ventured off on our own. and just took what we were influenced by. A lot of it at the time happened to be Blue Note and old record art and, and we just incorporated that into the company including shooting film um, for our skate videos as opposed to just straight video incorporating jazz music into the videos, photography and just trying to mix it up and make it more creative so it was very was very design driven as opposed to just skateboarding. Very well put, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 92, I was 22. That about sums it up, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, thank you. <laughs> it's funny to think now, because we're a lot older than how young we were when we started it. He was only He was only 19. Like 20. I think. And I was 21 or 22. Yeah. Yeah. When we started, we it. couldn't even legally drink, <laughs> but we did drink. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, and then uh, we came up here and we talked to somebody about starting it, and we got the thumbs up. And so, 1992, we started it up here. How did you guys become friends? Um, World Industries and Blind Skateboards. We went on tour together a couple times. Skateboarding for different companies, and then when that. And then basically we just got closer and closer and decided to do our own thing. We had a lot of the same like art tastes and music tastes, so it was like a natural progression to do our own uh, skate company. Yeah. How does it feel <laughs> to celebrate 15 years? Uh, on one hand it's amazing to see this turnout and to see all this things that were saved. You know, original photographs, original skateboard art. But on the other hand, it makes you feel a little old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's nerve-wracking right now, just all the pieces that had to come together for tonight to happen. But um, it's cool. I, I can't believe it's been 15 years, I can say that. But I'm hoping for another 15 more. I love you, Chris. <laughs> Big love hug, you too. and then that's it. <laughs> yes! <laughs>